Hey everybody, Sports Live in the ATL. David here. If you can't tell from the back here, you can obviously see that Slitta is getting into the Halloween festive mood. I will be adding some more Halloween stuff throughout the next week or two. So make sure you uh, stay tuned. Oh, I probably should like put this right here too, huh? Right there in the middle. I'll be filling that up at some point. After watching today's games... It was supposed to be a relaxing football Sunday. I had some things to do earlier today. Got that taken care of. But what happened today in football just made me even a little more agitated. What do I mean by that? The Detroit Lions blew a 14-0 lead against New Orleans. Congrats on the Saints coming back. That was a uh, way to go to hang in. The Carolina Panthers dominated the Cardinals. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with Tom Brady came back from a 24-7 deficit to, de to defeat the uh, L.A. Chargers. Now, that, now, that's bad in itself because it's in the NFC South, right? But that wasn't the worst part. The worst part are these two. The Cleveland Browns, who have been atrocious, I couldn't even say, 15, 20 years. They go into Dallas today. They're up 41 to 14. Sound familiar, Falcon fans? 41 to 14. That's four touchdowns. Dallas makes a run late, closes it to within, I think, uh, what, 41 30 or something like that, or I don't know what it was. But the Browns made the plays to win the game. They ran the ball, ran some clock, and they made the defensive play late to win. Dan Quinn, were you taking notes, sir? So that aggravated me because then it gave me flashbacks of two weeks ago. The Chicago Bears, who came back, and, and by the way, just in case you were living under a rock, the Falcons led Dallas 20 to nothing and 29 to 10 and 39 24 or 39 26 I don't even remember something like that with a couple minutes to go two weeks ago in Dallas and lost it because they couldn't they couldn't play defense the play calling was atrocious late in the game in the fourth quarter and they didn't know how to recover an onside kick so the Browns winning today gave a proverbial slap in the face to Falcon fans and myself and then the Chicago Bears who came back from a 26-10 deficit last week and beat my Falcons 30-26 in an unacceptable performance. Right now, they're losing 16-3 to the, to the uh, Indianapolis Colts. Talk about a proverbial slap in the face. Just makes me angry. Just makes me utterly angry. But anyways, moving forward, tomorrow night, 8.40 p.m., I will be on the YouTube air for Atlanta Falcons at the Green Bay Packers. Do I expect to win the game? Absolutely not. Reason being, what if the Falcons defensively in late in games giving me reasons to believe that they're going to win? Falcons have beaten the Packers three straight times, but until they show me something... I'm not expecting to win, but I'm loyal, I'm diehard, and I am praying that we win this ball game tomorrow night because we need to win in the worst way. Okay? Because we can get the win tomorrow. I 100% believe we're going to beat the Carolina Panthers next Sunday in Atlanta. So that's two wins that we could get in seven days. But right now, obviously, calm your horses, Slitta. Let's focus on the Green Bay Packers. That's going to be tough. Aaron Rodgers, etc. I mean, that's, you know, we're a little nicked up. I don't know. Monday Night Football. Ooh, get the whole world. Get to see Dan Quinn collapse and make a... So what? Uh, you know what would be fitting is if the Falcons have a huge lead and on national television for the whole world to see Dan Quinn continue to blow it. I don't know. I don't know what to expect tomorrow. But I'll be here. And that brings me to this point about loyal fans. 
you Atlanta Falcon fans out there who have disowned the team, and there's this one particular person, what's his name, Chris Law? I don't know the guy personally, but I saw his video. He said he's done with the Falcons. Good. You're done with the Falcons because they irritate you so much. Well, I've been a Falcons fan since 1980, and they have driven me up a proverbial wall. But I will never disown this logo. I will never disown this helmet. I will never disown the history of this franchise, no matter how horrible it is. I'm one of those that when we finally win the Super Bowl, hopefully my beard is not fully gray, that I'll be able, I'll be one of those that will appreciate it. Fans like you, sir, do not deserve to be repping this football team. Because you're going to disown and you say you're done, but yet you'll be the first one back if the Falcons turn this around. And you want to know what, Mr. Chris Law, or whatever the hell your name is, I will not respect you. I know you don't care, and yet you shouldn't care what I think, because I don't care what you think. But I thought that was disloyal. I thought that was inappropriate, and I thought that was an insulting embarrassment to us loyal Atlanta Falcons fans. So you will never be welcome, as far as I'm concerned, to root for this fan, root for this fan base, root for this logo, root for this team. And that brings me to this other uh, Falcons fan, this woman who comes on YouTube I found from Joshua Gus's channel. First of all, she's sounding like she has, she has, has no common sense. She's sounding like she's about it. I can't even explain what she sounds like. But she's so frustrated with the team after four games and the history that she's going to get all of her merchandise, get her stuff from the wall, the helmets, the plaques, the I don't know what the hell, the merchandise, and you're going to burn it outside. Well, guess what? You're not a true Falcons fan. I don't want you repping this team. And if this Falcons team turns it around, you have no right to celebrate because it's Falcon fans like you and that dude that make this fan base look bad. You got to ride through this team winning or losing like I do. And I've been doing this since the 80s. So I don't respect you, whatever your name is, and I don't respect Mr. Chris Law. I don't. And whether y'all like it, I could care less. I think it's. I, I think you need to stand by your team, and uh, you need to be proud of your team. It's tough being a Falcons fan. It is, but never will I disown my team, or will I burn my merchandise. I'm sorry. To me, that's unloyal. That's bandwagon. That's fair weathered, and that's fake. So I personally, Slitta, do not ever want you back rooting for this team. And if we do turn it around, I will personally look for you. I will personally look for you on YouTube or whatever media outlet that you have, and I will give you my opinion. Seriously, you need to stay with it. And as far as this rise up, this one person commented and said, I have nerve to put Atlanta in my name, and yet I hate rise up. We've been rising up since 1966. When that slogan came out with Samuel Jackson in 2008 or 2009, it was catchy. But I'm sorry, after... A blown 2010 NFL Divisional. After a 2011 playoff two points. After a 2012 NFC Championship choke at home. After a 2013 debacle season. After a 2014 and 15 of non-playoff years. After a 2016 Super Bowl choke. After a 2017 playoff loss at the one-yard line. After a 2018 and 2019 and this start... Spare me with the rise up. I think that slogan is so old like Samuel Jackson. I think it's so outdated like Samuel Jackson. And I think it's annoying. I think brotherhood's annoying. Stop with the slogan. Maybe Falcons, if y'all start, if y'all stop with the dumb slogans, y'all might be able to win football games and win a Super Bowl. I'm tired of brotherhood and I'm tired of rise up. I want to see a winning football team. I don't want to hear a slogan. I don't want to see a slogan. If you want a slogan, I'm going to give you one. Hashtag win football games. Period. 
tomorrow night, 8.40 p.m. Eastern Time on Sports Live in the ATL. Falcons, Packers, I don't expect to win, but I'm here rooting for this team. I hope to win. Give me something to believe that you're going to win. But I'll be here. Why? Because I'm Atlanta Falcons. I'm loyal, and I will always be here for the birds. Sports Live in the ATL. And until tomorrow night, game day, game night, I'll talk to you later.